Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! This first portion of the video is going to be pretty pointless for the most part, but I have to put this in somewhere because it is irking me. I want to show what's going on at the Goron Villa- I mean, uh, Death Mountain, excuse me, you know where the Gorons are living after the whole um, clearing out of the Goron mines and whatnot, because I've said that I want to do this for a while and, well, I, I don't really have any other spot to put it in. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it here because I'm gonna buy some bombs from Barnes. Just because I want to deplete my wallet even more. Uh, how, what can I need? I mean, what do I need? Um, all types, I guess. But I'm thinking of what is the maximum amount. I know the max of water bombs are 15, I mean uh, 30. Excuse me. Um, I think the max for these are 60, so I can buy 30 and then 10. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> he's, he's just warning me that I um, will overflow my bomb bag. Uh, will 10 be fine? And yeah, okay. Now, what do I have? Am I full on everything? No, I am not. I need to buy more bomblings, I guess. <laughs> Let's do 10. I don't I don't know the max. I just want to see what the max is. Uh, okay, so the max amounts are 60, 20, and 30 for these respective bombs. Okay. Now I'm going to go over to Goron Village via Death Mountain Trail. Because I want to show, you know, the way up there. See how everything's... Well, not much has changed per se, but I just want to show you what's up. <laughs> I don't think it's any different from uh, daytime to nighttime, so I don't think it really matters if I go now or later. So let's just go up the trail and see what's up. And let's see what this one has to say. It's probably just a Goron that will boost me up to the top. Yeah, that's what I thought. Most of them are like this, but there's a couple of them that have some interesting stuff to say. Alternatively, you could just climb up this mesh netting here and or claw shot your way up there. Either way works. Please, no Gorons rolling down the... <laughs> nah, I don't think they do that now. Uh, that's where the pole was at one time, if you don't recall. Uh, I could either use... The, I could climb up there multiple ways this time. Uh, pfft. But you can only get on that upper ledge by climbing up this way, of course. Woo! And I didn't see any Gorons at the other other route there, so I'm just gonna climb up here and take a look-see from up here to see if... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna miss any if I take this upper route here. I just wanna see if there's any Gorons. Oh, there is one up there. I'm glad I came up here. Just, it's just a matter of... I wanna show, you know, what's up. <laughs> In terms of where uh, that, that place right there is where you got the heart piece. I just want to show what's up in terms of how far the Gorons have come and whatnot. Hmm. Oh, you said the same thing as before? Really? You are not an exceptional dude whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to hop down here now. And there's a howling stone. I didn't see any other Gorons along the way. Okay. Let's move on. Like I said, this is pretty much pointless for the most part because there's nothing else to collect around these areas. No pose, uh, no heart pieces, stuff like that. So this is just for the fun of it to show you what's going on. And daybreak is coming as you can see by the sun. It's a place where the uh, time passes by unlike in uh, certain villages. See like, here's something that's different here. There is now a a Zora, <laughs> a Zora in the village. What, what, what was wrong with me with the controls there? Well, yeah. Maybe you should go back to Zora's domain. Got anything else to say about that? <laughs> okay. And now we got the Goron music once again. I'm not gonna bother with like the, the stuff that you can pick up, like pots and um, rocks and stuff like that. Is there any Gorons over here? Oh, I didn't really show these things before. And this is another thing that I kind of regret not showing before. Remember that elevator way, way back up near the Goron mines? I forgot to move these rocks and show you what I mean by those earlier on. 
so I'm gonna show that a little bit later. Can I just claw shop my way up there? Do I have to use... Okay, I have to use my Goron buddy here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's go! And I probably should get my iron boots out because they're kind of required to get around here because the steam vents are still in our way. Uh, let's see, there's kind of a split path here. Kind of. <laughs> like this one here. This one will lead you over this arch here. It can actually boost you all the way up to the top. Let's see if I can do it. Woo! Ah, oh, like that. Right on this pipe here. And what did what what happened? Did he just get traction on the mountainside or something? What? <laughs> that was weird. All right, and then we go around to. Uh, I want to show you the other side before I jump down to the hot springs. See this over here. This Goron is. Oh yeah, I'm actually higher up than I thought. <laughs> if you drop down here, this is this was where the other the split path that I said was. If you talk to this guy, he's another one of those you want to go up guy. Uh, so let's cli <laughs> climb up on top with a terrible camera angle. All right, now I can use him. Wait, actually, no, I'll go to the hot spring first before I use the elevator because when I when I go up to the top, I can uh, go back down using the elevator. Okay, over here, this is the hot spring. You can recover your health just as you can in spirit springs gradually, but my health is full, so it's like, no big deal. <laughs> oh, so you were the one way, way up at the top. Oh, never mind. I guess he decided to come here instead. <laughs> Do you eat rocks? Do you have rocks? Uh... You don't say anything else that's different, do you? Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, you don't see, say anything different either. That's fine, fine. Oh, you got another Zora here. <laughs> well, get in the water. Otherwise, you'll dry out like the other one. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like that one that was stuck underwater at Zora's domain. Remember the one that we that we brought in with the um, that big lava spire to melt out Zora's domain? Yeah, that one. So I guess Zor I mean, so I guess Gorons don't really breathe, and that explains how they're able to uh, survive the sulfurous fumes of volcanoes and whatnot. What's up? <laughs> guess the the polluted city air from. Nothing. <laughs> no, he's probably referring to snooty people or something, I don't know. And this shop here is pretty interesting, I'll, I'll show that last. It's not interesting for the way that, that it's just a shop, but it's it's what they sell that's interesting. And that's all you're saying? <laughs> okay. Now, if you, if you talk to the shop guy, he'll be very happy to see you, but just look what he sells here. He's got arrows. Lantern oil, it's pretty basic, and then you got milk, okay, but they sell a wooden shield. Why? It, it would burn up by all the fire enemies around this area, and it, it's like trying to sell a snowblower in the desert. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> And that's what I find interesting about the shop, is that they sell wooden shields for some reason. I, I never really got that. Over here is another one of those kinds of stones that you can move. Um, and now I'm going to climb out of here. I'm going to use my claw shots just to speed things up a little bit. Whee! Because the guy that's relaxing there will not be willing to help like the other ones. Yes, I do. I kind of miss the guy that says brother instead of brother. <laughs> Whee! Oh, I'm going to need the iron boots for this. Oh, oh I should get a little closer because that's going to take me forever to get to it. With the iron boots. Eh, 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 okay. I am safe. I don't think I need him for any other spot on the way up here. Yeah. What is... 
Why is there... Oh, there must have been a structure that once was built along the side here. Maybe for the uh, workers and it broke down or something like that. I was going to say, why is there stakes stuck in the side of the mountainside? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and re re That's pretty much how it feels. <laughs> It's like they, they charge up their boost as they vibrate like that, like they're they're intensifying their muscles and then they Yeah, they boost you up there. Okay now, last thing I'm gonna show you are the peeps in here. Not inside the dungeon because there's no one inside the dungeon there now. And yeah, and then I'm gonna do the elevator area. Okie dokie. Yeah, we already seen some of their the Gorons. Hey, Darbus. Yup. You are one helpful guy, I must say. He looks very terrifying, but he's a very nice guy. Hmm. <laughs> yup. Well, that explains where, where Bo got the skills from. Bo was the mayor of Ordon Village, if you don't remember. It's been a while since we've seen him. Hmm, possibly. <laughs> yeah, let's talk to the guards. Yeah, you probably should. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it, guys. It's all in the day's work of a hero. Now, this elevator... Well, I'll talk to this guy first. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna get on the elevator, and I'm gonna show you around the area. You press the switch, it goes down. It's not a very large area, and it's really easy to figure out, but I kind of feel bad for not showing this earlier, like showing you where the shortcuts are a little bit earlier. And I'm just gonna plop me on the ground floor. There we go. I'm gonna take off the boots. Now down here, wait, actually I'll show you the other one first, because it's, it's right up here. <laughs> You'll notice that there are some uh, scrape marks on the ground, there's this rock, grab it, push it to the side. Once you push it all the way to the side, you don't have to worry about it getting in your way anymore, and you've created a nice shortcut to get up to the dungeon anytime. This one leads to the hot springs, as you can see here. The other one leads to the very bottom of the mountain. Yeah, you just jump down here, and if you want to go back up, just take these little paths. It's carved out of the mountainside, I guess. Just like so, yeah, you get the idea. Looks like they have a uh, complex steam system going throughout the entire mountain. Like, you see all these pipes and stuff like that going through it and whatnot. I think that's a nice little touch there. And grab it, push it over. Although there is a broken down minecart there. Poor thing. Didn't stand a chance against the weight of Gorons. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go through here, and this leads out to, you guessed it, the other one, which was down at the bottom of the mountain. Yeah, that was where the thing that I said I, could, I couldn't I could claw shot over to. Alright, now let's go over to the next dungeon. I'm going to warp over to... Uh, no, 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 wrong one completely. Why did I even bother doing that? The mirror chamber. Let's go!
After witnessing that cutscene, now you know what's been going on. Welcome to the next dungeon, the Palace of Twilight. And as you now know, Midna here is the real Twilight Princess, not the uh, Zelda that we know as, <laughs> as uh, the Twilight Princess as Midna labeled her as, but I think she did that more jokingly, in other words, or um, like to conceal her identity per se, but only Zant knew that at the time. So apparently the people of the Twilight have been suffering for quite a while because of Zant. So I guess it was only a matter of time. Yeah, sure. I guess it was only a matter of time before that blue-eyed beast came along and wiped them out. If you want to leave the dungeon to do other things, you know, you can just go in this light here and press enter. Well, A button to enter, but I'm not going to do that. But if you look over here... Yep. 
These are the people that have been cursed by Zant. Similar to Midna, actually. Can I speak with you? No, I can't speak with you. That's too bad. How about you? No. You, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it can speak <clears throat> I can speak with you as well. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's too bad. Okay, there's two holes. Well, there's two slots, per se, for something to go in there. Just uh, keep that in mind. Over here, dead end, don't bother. Over here, also a dead end, don't bother. If you go near this blackiness, <laughs> yeah, blackiness, that was very, very descriptive here. You can't talk to him. You'll just get thrown away. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the shadow cargo ox. Watch. Yeah, so you can't jump through that. I just thought I would show that once. It's like a shadow wall. I have so much health, I don't really care all that much about my health, especially since I'm gonna get more health as I go through the areas. So your only pathway is right, but keep the other ones in mind. Uh, there's that there, just thought... I, I really don't think that's anything, if I recall, but I just noticed it, and I can't talk to you right... Yeah, that's too bad. Alright, so let's enter this door, and start the dungeon for realsies after that little intro of sorts. Uh, you're gonna come across a lot of familiar shadow enemies. There's two new ones, but they're more like Zant's incarnations. Like, you got your typical shadow keys, shadow death babas, and stuff like that. It's it's all very basic stuff at this point. So this dungeon is actually not all that hard when it comes to regular enemies and whatnot. And look at that, there's already a heart. <laughs> For me, jumping down the pit purposely. <laughs> Although, I, I just noticed that, uh, um, what, that piece did, like, a heart full of damage. Oh, and that other enemy that you've seen there was Zant's Mask. Let's see, if, oh, there it is. It shoots at you, attack it. It's not hard at all to defeat, it's just, it's kind of slow. It's kind of like a, a whiz robe, actually, from other Zelda games, and it just shoots at you from a distance. And voila! Open! Yeehaw! Uh, okay, I'm going to uh, take note of this as well. See this, this dark shadowy stuff here? If you jump inside it, it'll turn into a wolf. See? And you also get a little bit more uh, backstory on Xanth by jumping into this. Yep! Alright, so if you want to look through this fog, it, it kind of obstructs your vision and whatnot. You can just use your senses and then you can see around and whatnot. The fog doesn't hurt you, but since you're stuck in wolf form in this area and can't transform when you're out of it, watch, it'll just transform into a human. See? Midna will let you because she knows that it's not possible, but if you leave it and transform into a human, you'll be fine. But the reason why they have that there is to block you out from doing stuff like this. Like, see, you can't... You can't shoot for that target on the wall there because you're not close enough to get some of these treasure chests, so you're gonna have to come through these side rooms multiple times. Like, see, I can't do anything over there. Just so I would uh, mention that right now, so don't worry about me missing stuff at the moment. There will be a way around that a little bit later as I go through the dungeon. Alright, next room. And that key certainly got use very quick. <laughs> and you'll notice that there's more shadow down there, of which I can't do anything about but jump inside it at the moment. But I will take a look-see around here, just knock around some pots, I suppose. And... You know what, what am I even bothering to transform into a wolf for using Bidna? Once I go inside, yeah. <laughs> and you'll notice that there is another a hole on the floor like the ones you've seen back at Owl. Back at the beginning, that is used for something else you will see soon enough. And how well, did I not? Wow, you guys have a lot of HP. And apparently Xant has a lot of masks. <laughs> And another chest! Yeah, two for the price of one. It's not all that hard to defeat that enemy as a, as Wolf Link, especially since you're so swift as a wolf and it's so slow 
to uh, disappear as you approach it, so it's no big deal whatsoever. But I do one. Oh, there's the other. I mean, that's the first one. Oh, pfft. I'm walking right into the wall. I forgot entirely where the where the uh, exit to that shadow thing was. Please be the dungeon map. This dungeon is not very long, but it's still nice to have a map, or at least a compass. That's also very nice because it'll show you where the treasure chests are in the room, and you know which which ones I'm gonna have to go back and get to 100% this place. All right, here's the other one. I'm just gonna transform into a human to open the chest. Dang those paws! <laughs> and it's another small key. Good. And is there anything? of importance on the walls that I can get right now. I don't think so. I'm just gonna flop around this room for the heck of it. Because I believe this is just the way out when I come back through here. Well, there's a chest I can get here right now. Why not? This will save me a little bit of trouble a little later once I get a certain something that I'm gonna need to traverse this particular area like to go back through here. It's the, it's the item that you need to put inside those uh, circular slots around the area. You'll see what I mean once I get to it. Alright, let's get up there. And let's go through the door, because I'm sure it's another locked door. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm bothering with the pots. <laughs> to be honest here. Okay. And we're gonna come across a little mini boss. Uh oh That's the thing we need to put inside those holes. Or slots, whatever. Ooh, I should get out my uh, bow. Because I think I can use it in this fight. Okay, see this, this uh, funnel on the floor here? Anyway, approach that. A little cutscene will happen. Oh, jeez, this is not going to be pretty. Although this arena is very wide. This is the mini-boss. Phantom Zant. It's not a hard mini boss at all. That portal he creates there makes a ton of enemies spawn though, which can get in your way. But you can just take care of them with spin attacks like that. Oopsie. <laughs> I did a little bit too early. There we go. Recharge. Recharge. There we go. Alright. Now, whenever you see him, just attack, and that's all you can use the bow, because it, it prevents him from summoning more enemies like that, if you can't get to him fast enough. Oh, dang it. I think he managed to do it again. Yeah, he got some shadow vermin out. Well, whatever. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, right there. Oh, no. 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 Oh, dang it. Mm. He's more annoying than anything, actually. Come on, come on. Yeah! Good. You didn't get any enemies out, did you? Okay. Oh, you dead! You dead! Ah. <laughs> that was pretty good at clearing him out. Okay. Where... I guess you can only hit him when he starts doing his shadow ball. Yeah, I said shadow ball. <laughs> yeah. That spin attack is so helpful. Oh, there you are. And that's it. Really, that was it. <laughs> but it's not quite over, because you still got to get out of this room. But I'm going to save that for the next part, because this next sex, this next segment here is going to be a, uh, a section that I would like to show all at once, because it is a matter of... They're going to be pressuring you to do something, basically. So I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.